folks. How are you this evening? This is your hostess with the mostest, Donna Smith, a.k.a. Baby D. I am feeling real good. I hope you are. I just attended a friend of mine's wedding, and man, it was, um, it was, it was just wonderful. So much love and togetherness and and all that in the house and support. It, it just made me feel some kind of way. And I wanted to reach out and talk to you guys this evening about that uh, that forever commitment. You know, um, it's it's so precious. It's so precious to have someone that you can be um, in cahooks with, someone that you can trust, someone that you can feel the depths of their love and the loyalty behind what they do and how they do it. And the thing that that just really kind of touched me was the fact that, you know, the realization that love is unconditional. You know, there shouldn't be conditions to love. There shouldn't be conditions to commitment. There shouldn't be conditions to what you do for one one another that you really love and care about. But it seems like today people are trying to intertwine, I would say, um, conditions into the commitment of marriage or serious deep relationships. And what I mean by that is, you know, there you have to the, the way it's put out there is, well, you have to have this or you have to have that. You have to do this or you have to do that to be with me. And if you can't do this or that, then we ain't even got to waste our time. You know, um, conditions with communication. You know, I'll express to you if you express to me. You know, I want to know all about what happened to you 10 years ago and who you was with and were they better than me in the bed and blah, 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 blah. I mean, people are really coming hard with it. And... There's no need. There's no need to come hard in that way when it's genuine. When it's genuine, it blends and it melts and it it, 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 it just mixes in a way that the flavor and the aroma from it all just sends you on a cloud 999. And that's the way it should be. But I wonder, I wonder, grown folks, what has actually occurred to make some want to put in extreme conditions when it comes to their love and commitment with someone? I mean, is it is it necessary? You know, I mean, some say that when you're at a high status quo, prenups is the way to go. You know, um, that's pretty much a condition, you know, uh, in case this doesn't work out, you need to back off, okay? You are not entitled to this and you're not entitled to that. And no, I'm not giving you this or that. And depending on the situation, folks are signing prenups. And it's just, you know, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just wondering what has changed. I think back to my grandparents when they were together back in the South, young, vibrant, you know, motivated, full of love, was with each other for probably 70 years almost. And the love and the cohesiveness of the union with that generation was so awesome. Marriages lasted. There was no conditions. It was accepting you for who you were, accepting me 
for who I am. And we love each other, so we're in this for the long haul. Yes, stories was told that it wasn't always easy. They had their issues, just like anybody does in any relationship or marriage. And with those issues, it's, it's, it's the coming together and getting through the fire that matters. It's not the fact that you flamed up a little bit because everybody's going to have some flames. It's going to get hot every now and again. But it's how you get through that heat. So these are some things that I kind of went there and thought. And I, I like to really hear what you think. I mean, you know, what do you think about the love and conditions or unconditions? Do you think it keeps you safe? What do you think about prenups? Is it a wise thing to do when you're in a, a, a high status quo? And perhaps the person you're with, even if they are on the same level of you or greater, you just want to protect your assets, you know? And I think everybody kind of does. If you require certain things before you got with a person, that's yours. That's not yours. That's not y'all's. It's yours. But what you establish and create and build together is y'all's. You feel me? So yeah, let's let's chat, let's talk, and love is in the air, and grown folks is out there, and I know y'all got some things to say, and um, I don't want to take up all the space, but down below, leave a comment. Let's make this a go. Let's discuss. Let's talk about it. This is your hostess with the most is Donna Smith, aka Lady D. If you'd like to send me an email, please do so at dgrier12000 at yahoo.com. I can be reached also on Facebook under Donna Smith, my YouTube channel, Donna Smith, a.k.a. Lady D. Join in, subscribe to my channel because you all motivate me to keep all this great dialogue coming. You motivate me, so I need to know that you appreciate that. And on that note, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great evening. Be safe. Mwah.